In this lesson, we're going to look at how you can solve for variables with fraction, fractional exponents uh, in problems like this. We're going to go through about three steps here. The first step we're going to try to do is we want to get the variable that has the fractional exponent, in this case x to the one-half power by itself. And that's very easy to do in this problem. Uh, we're simply going to add 4 to both sides. So 5 plus 4 is 9. And then the next step is we're going to raise both sides to the reciprocal power. So in this case, we have a 1 half for our fractional exponent. It's reciprocal. When you flip it over, it is 2 over 1, or just 2. So we're going to raise both sides to the second power. Notice what happens. When you have a base with a power raised to a power, they multiply together. Well, in this case, when you multiply 1 half by 2, they just cancel, leaving x to the first power. That gets rid of the fractional exponent. And on the other side, we simply square the number. 9 squared, in this case, is 81. 9 times 9. So that's a simple example. Uh, if there were anything else to do, we would just simplify however far it took until we solved for x after we have um, raised to the reciprocal power to get rid of the exponent. Let's look at one that's slightly more complicated, though not hard. This problem. Follow that same pattern. We want to get this x to the two-thirds power right here by itself. And if we can do that, then we'll be able to uh, solve this problem as a regular problem. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to subtract 3 from both sides. So 19 minus 3 is 16. This time I still have a 4 in front of my base and power that I need to get rid of, so I'm going to divide both sides by 4. And that leaves me, when these are canceled, x to the 2 thirds power equal to 4. Now, my step here is to raise both sides to a reciprocal power. Well, the reciprocal of two-thirds is three-halves. Over here, it is also three-halves then, both sides. And I'm moving up here. So x is just x to the first power, since everything cancels here, twos and threes. And over here, I have four to the three-halves power. Now this one we can work in our head. Uh, sometimes you may have complicated ones that you may need a, a calculator for. But remember, this can be rewritten as a root and power. So in our case, uh, you can rewrite this as the square root of 4. Remember the 2 on the bottom tells us the root raised to the third power. And again, if you had a calculator uh, that does exponents, you can put it in as 4 to the parentheses 3 divided by 2 and you could find it that way. This one's easy enough though. We know the square root of 4 is 2 and then 2 to the third power 2 times 2 is 4 times 2 is 8. Therefore x is equal to 8. Uh, and you could uh, you could check by putting that in especially if you have a calculator again uh, you could put in 4 times 8 to the 2 thirds power and uh, then you would be able to find that 8 to the 2 thirds power is um, the cubed root of 8, which is 2. 2 squared is 4. 4 times 4 is 16. Plus 3 is 19, and it would check out. Uh, so each time you go through three steps, uh, you start out by uh, simplifying, by doing, getting your base in power by itself, and then once you have the base in power by itself, you do the reciprocal power. And then finally, anything you need to do, just simplify it. And taking those three steps, isolate base and power, find the reciprocal power, or do both sides, raise both sides to the reciprocal power, and then simplify, and you will be able to solve uh, any problem like this 
that has a fractional exponent.